Hey there, Makeup Aficionado. I'm Ali Connor Bradford and I am back again for part three of Miss Ashley's Makeup. We did a Rihanna look. And now I want to focus on her lips. We're going to do an ombre lip. So you can wear this either with a lot of eyeshadow or with no eyeshadow at all. Just do some false lashes and focus on her lips and that's perfectly great for an evening out. Especially when you're lazy. Alright, so we're going to start with a deep color called Night Moth. And I know it looks... No eyeshadow at all. Just do some false lashes and focus on her lips and that's perfectly great for an evening out. Especially when you're lazy. So we're going to start with a deep color called Night Moth. And I know it looks scary, but I promise when we blend it out, it will all make sense. So you start by drawing the line and just rimming the, uh, excuse me, the lip itself. And giving it some shape and then we'll feather it in. This particular technique you can do with any shade of color, especially red. It looks really great when you're doing it with red. So we have our basic line. Now we're going to feather it in. And what this does is it contours the lip a bit too. We're gonna to go all the way in from the corners and leave the center clean. And the reason we do that is because it's gonna draw that color in going from darkest to lightest, and it's gonna give the illusion of a fuller lip. So we're just yanking it in. It doesn't have to be neat and pretty because we're gonna buff it out anyway. All right, all the way in the corners, going back down the lower line, and then just I said kind of feathering it inward. And then I'm going to take a lip brush and blend it out just a little bit. It's actually an eye brush. I'm using it for lips. But it's kind of all your discretion. You're the creative one, so it's whatever you choose, whatever works best for you. So just making it into a nice blend. I'll also go back afterwards and throw a little bit of concealer on too underneath the lip just to frame it really nice. There we go. So going in circular motions and just feathering the color in, I'll go back again. And again, keep in mind, even though it looks dark, even somebody fair complected can go in with this color and it looks super nice. Okay, so we got that. You can play with the color you put in the center. I'm doing pink today. So we start inside here. And then we'll pull it out and down. Making sure that you're still going on top of your lip liner too and just blending the two together. But it's a good way to get a really unique lip because I don't feel like a lot of people play with their lips as much as they do with their eye makeup. But trend is leaning more towards lips guys. So be with the trend and be ahead of everybody else. That's what I say. So I'm following the line of her lip. Feathering it in. Making sure I keep the line nice and clean. Now do you close your lip? By keeping your lips closed, it just firms up the lip a little bit so that way it doesn't move around quite as much. I'm going all the way to the line. And blending it down. So we're starting to see the ombre a little bit. We're going to go back with our lip liner and just make it a bit more prominent. There we go. And then what I'm doing is I'm tilting the liner. Instead of going at a point, I'm going to the side and just using the side of the liner. That way the color doesn't come off as harsh. And just slightly feathering. Down to the rim of her lip. I always start on the inside of the rim so that way there's room for mistakes if I make any. And if you do, you can just go back, clean it, and then add some concealer to it. It fixes everything. Concealer is your best friend. There we go. Now I'll go back again, just do a little bit blending. You can leave it as is, or you can add a little bit of gloss to it. Just depends on your flavor that day. So, I'm doing gloss. Just in the center of the lip. Highlighting that pink real nice. There we go. It looks beautiful. And it doesn't matter the size, the shape of your lip. This will look nice on anybody. Okay, so for that cleaning technique, I mean, we put it on pretty clean, I think, but just to show you guys, 
go back with a little bit of concealer or foundation and a synthetic brush and just rim around everything. It cleans it up real nice. And I'm just using a concealer. You can go either red or yellow. I kind of mix mine together. Her top looks really nice. We don't have to do a lot of cleaning there. Usually it's the bottom that you have to do that with. Gorgeous. So there you have it. Beautiful ombre lip with some nice vibrant purples. But again, you can do it with any color. So hopefully you learned a lot from this technique and you'll be rocking it soon. Thank you so much and I will see you next Thursday at 8. Bye.